Hi class, right now we are going to talk about cleaning up your Gmail inbox and I first want to start talking to you about your inbox and, and give you an analogy. You should think of your inbox as a way to organize everything in your work life. Most of the um, information we get at work is communicated through email and there are oftentimes, um, you know, directives from your principal or emails from parents or other things that you have to attend to. And all those for most of um, any type of communication, it's going to live in your inbox. So it's really important that you have your inbox organized in a way that you can be really efficient and keep up with everything that you have to do. Um, if, you, if you kind of think of your, your inbox as your house. In your house, you have a certain place where you keep your tools and a certain place in your kitchen for plates and a certain place in your kitchen for cups and you keep your clothes in your bedroom closet and if you have kids, you keep their toys in a playroom perhaps or in their rooms. Um, and and your, your email should be organized in the same way. If you were in your house and you dumped every single thing you own into one central location, you would never be able to find anything. And so the goal for this tutorial and this first lesson is to work on organizing your email so that emails have a place to stay where you can find them easily. And so you also always know what it is that you have coming up and different things that you have to do. So we're first gonna look in my inbox here. And the first thing that you should know about the inbox is when you come over here, you're going to see how many emails are in your inbox at this current time. So right now we can view 1 to 50 of 11,097. And when I hover here, I can have that sorted by newest at the top. Or if I click here, that will put the oldest at the top. Okay, so now you can see that I have emails dating all the way back until 2009. And chances are that I probably don't need all of those emails. And I definitely don't need all of those emails in my inbox. Your inbox should be reflected of what it is that you have to do right now. And when you see a number, and if your number is in, um, especially in the thousands or tens of thousands, you may be thinking, there is no way that I could ever get through all that email. And I don't want to delete it. What if I need something? And the good thing with Gmail is that it has so much storage that you don't have to delete it. You can archive it. And when you archive it, that will move it to a place called All Mail. And it will keep it there for you. But it takes it out of your inbox. And that's the main goal. You don't want to have 10,000 messages in your inbox. That's the equivalent of throwing every single thing you own in the middle of your living room floor and leaving it there to have to go and look for it at a later time. Um, we're going to talk more about all mail in a later, a later um, video. I want to show you how you can take a huge task like getting through this email and and archive that mail very, very quickly. So here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. In this top search bar, I want you to type in the search in colon inbox before 2013-08-01. And here's what this search is gonna do for you. You are gonna search in your inbox for all messages that were dated before August 1st, 2013. So that is essentially taking you back to all of the emails that you have received before this school year began. So when you hit enter, it is going to search for every single one of those emails dating back to before the beginning of this school year. Now, I'm not asking you to delete these. We are going to archive them. When you do a search later, you'll still be able to find them. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to come over here and click select all conversations that match this search. Now, that is going to address all of the emails that are 
you know, past this page because you can see there are many, many emails and I'm only selecting 20 at a time. I don't want to go by page by page by page. I want to do this. Now I've selected all of those emails. This is your archive button. This is going to move it to all mail. This is your delete button. I'm not going to delete. I'm going to select archive and I'm going to click it. I'm going to say OK. Okay, so now it's going to look like all of my messages are gone. They are not. It says no messages match your search. You can broaden your search. So that means all of those messages have been archived. I'm going to come back over here to my inbox and see what that has done to my message count. Okay, now I'm down to something that's a lot more manageable. I'm down to 150 of 469. So I have had 469 emails since the beginning of this school year. And what we're going to do in the next session is learn how to apply labels to those emails. So here's the next thing that I'm going to do. In my search, I'm going to search again in inbox before 2013 0901. So this is going to get everything that was sent to you um, in the month of August. Hit enter. And then I'm going to do a cursory just look through to see if there's anything that I need to keep. Now this was over a month ago, so there's probably not anything from over a month ago that you have yet to attend to. So you can do just a quick kind of glance through and check and see if there's anything you just really, really, really need to keep. But there's a good chance that you probably just can go ahead and archive these as well. If you want to go ahead and start your first search out and do it from 0901, I think that that would be an excellent idea. Check. Select all conversations that match this search. And then archive them again. Again, all of your conversations have been archived. Now let's go back to our inbox and see what that's done to us. Okay, so that's got me down to 237 messages that I have to attend to. Now, that's a lot better than I was sitting at 11,000 emails. Okay, so now once you get here, these emails are something that you are probably going to want to start to take a look at because these have been within the past month and you don't want to miss anything. But let's look at the emails that you have read first. To do a search for that, you say in inbox is read. So that's searching everything in your inbox that you have read. Okay, so this is where I am now. Now you can go through and start to look at these. And now these are the, some of the ones that you might want to really pay attention to. And here's what I would suggest for you is to go through and go ahead and select archive. But do this on a page by page basis. So I have selected all of these to archive. However, if I see one that's important that I need to keep in my inbox, I'm going to uncheck it. So what else is important? And then page by page, I'll hit archive. So these are my next ones. And I may even go ahead and you can take it and you can mark it as unread 
and then that'll probably take it out of your filter. So when you find one you need to keep, mark it as unread. The rest of these I know that I can go ahead and archive. And I know for a fact I don't need any of these, so I'm going to go ahead and archive all of these. Again, this is not deleting. Now when I get back to my inbox, I have a much more manageable number. I am down to now one of six. And these emails are only emails that have to do with me immediately things I need to do right now so that I don't get bogged down or um, confused about have I done something or not done something. In the next couple of um, videos, I'm going to show you how to make folders to archive your emails into specific folders. So if you want to, um, you know, get all of the emails from the last month or so and leave those in your inbox, then you can use those messages and pull them into folders as you go through the second video that's about to come up.